can't get enough. I know. Look at this. This might just be back for sure.
dry.
shower running. Be careful, me fine friends. The gods have been angered by all the celebrating. But, me buckos, every cloud has a silver lining. Monsieur and Madame, it's time to say adieu. But we hope you will always remember the amazing things which happened here in Walt Disney's enchanted Kiki Room. The birdies and the queen. Sneak over here. Train's not running today, but opportunity for pictures. Again, what, what this boiler is from then? This is Engine 2's original boiler. This is the boiler Walt had built for that engine back in 1954. And when did they retire it? <laughs> we hooked up air to the whistle so the kids can make some noise. <laughs> When did they actually retire this what one happened? then? This uh, retired probably, I want to say, back in uh, 2000, 2001. Oh, that long ago then. So.
fine young gentleman plucking those guitar strings and our heart strings. That's Terry. Yay, Terry. <laughs> I love those words. Yeah, you like that? Thank you. I'm trying it out. <laughs> That's Jeffrey on the bass back there. And everybody back there making our hearts go pit a pat. That's Paul on the drums. Woo, all right. Now, how are you fine folks doing? You having a good time? Hey, now listen, I know y'all came down to the Mark Twain to get a true taste of Southern hospitality, ain't that right? Hey, all right, well listen, we better sing a little bit. Everybody say hey now. Hey now. Again, say hey now. Hey now. All right, woo, hey, beats flying. I love it. Now listen, this here is Mardi Gras, and Mardi Gras is a celebration, but a celebration ain't nothing if y'all don't join in. So I want to hear you yelling like you're on a Mardi Gras float. Come on, everybody, say hey now. When I say hey now, y'all say hey now. Hey, all right. Come on, boys. And if you want, you can shout a little I go too.
put your left foot in. You put your left foot out. That sounds like a bunch of hokey pokey, doesn't it? You forgot to duck your pros. Well, lucky I was there for you. We're now passing the incredible, the eighth wonder of the world. It is the backslide of water! Oh, two, eight! Oh, two, eight! Oh, two! No? Does it not kind of straight again? That's okay. Welcome to my favorite part of the river, guys. There's an ancient legend that says if you park your boat here where the water is most calm and name any fish, got fish tools here. For example, um, piranhas. I know that's a bad example, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably a weird bad idea. Yeah. Oh,
since I did this. Well, I mean, uh, the Disneyland Autotopia. Woo! Woo! It's hard to take pictures and drive at the same time. Well, it's changed in the last few years. It's like one of the original cars, maybe. Driving through the Alps. Driving through the Alps. Off on the rough road, it looks like.
ride here now. Unloading area. Number one. Number one. Okay. Go to number one. You know what? I think she pulls to the left a little.
Excuse me. Excuse me. our family visited Disneyland for the very first time. I have a few memories from that very first trip. I was two years old and so was Disneyland. One of the most memorable memories I have in my mind is uh, the horror of going into Monstro's mouth. And for years all I had was this memory of going into Monstro's mouth but no memory of how we escaped or how we got out of Monstro's Mouth. I was 16 when I returned to Disneyland for the second time. 
And this was one of the first things I wanted to go see was Monster of the Whale. To find out once and for all what lay beyond, what was just beyond the opening to Monstro's mouth. Well, if you've been to Disneyland and not been on Monstro the Whale, this is Storybook Land. And it's quite enchanting from a certain point of view, but quite disappointing as a 16-year-old <laughs> to see what was really beyond the whale's mouth. This visit I made to Disneyland on my own, I really hadn't planned on visiting Disneyland on this particular trip I made down to Los Angeles, but some of my other plans fell through and I was left wanting for something to do. So I decided that I would make the trip to Disneyland. It seemed appropriate after all, it had been 60 years. And while I would prefer to make a trip to Disneyland with family or friends, it was still quite a delightful trip and a remembrance of all the many times I'd been there with my family, my wife, my children, my mom and dad, my brothers, my sister. For the most part, I used it as a photo op. This particular trip was filled with memories of all past trips. And as I think back on this day, my visit to Disneyland, to celebrate its and my 60th birthday. It was a very fine visit and a wonderful time to remember 